Hi, welcome back. One of our goals in becoming self-sufficient is um, raising and growing our own food for our animals as well as for us. So today I'm going to show you our first step that we took in raising food for our chickens. Camden is a wounded man today. He was playing with a kitten and our ranch dogs decided to run over toward him and it scared the kitten. And the kitten did a tap dance on his head. And uh, so he was pretty scratched up. So after we finally got the, the um, after we finally got the scratches to stop bleeding, he uh, washed his wounds with antibacterial soap, and now we're going to put some triple antibiotic shooter. Get down, you know better. Some triple antibiotic ointment on his wounds. Right here. Right. It was actually. It kind of scared me when he walked in so he was holding his head and there was blood pouring down the side of his face i thought he had been hit or fell um he was bleeding pretty badly Is that it? i think we're good I don't know if you've noticed in the previous vlogs, this um, aquarium behind me, but these are our mealworms. And I'll show you an up close picture of them. And I will show you how I take care of them and what we do with the worms. So here are the worms. You can see them in there, They're moving around. There are beetles in there too. This down here is waste. It needs to be cleaned out. This layer right here, that is wheat bran. And that's what they feed off of. There's paper towel in there because the beetles lay their eggs in the paper towel and the eggs hatch and thus the worms. So right now what I need to do is clean some of this out and with it I'm going to take some of the worms. I'm going to leave the paper towel in here because, like I said, they lay their eggs in this and I don't want to get rid of the eggs. I want to keep the eggs because that's the future of our mealworms. That top layer, by the way, this. is mostly the skin that the worms have shed off as they grow. And I'm gonna put all this in here and any worms or beetles that I get along with it, they're going to. I just want to show you what I'm talking about here. This very fine, like sand, is the waste product. You 
in that there are a couple worms in there or larvae, but the rest is the um, skin that they've shed as they've grown. You can see some worms down there. I'm just gonna fill this bag up here. It'll definitely not be all the way cleaned out, but that's okay. I'll clean out more next time I come in here to do this. Now, I'm going to fill it up with some fresh wheat bran. I keep the wheat bran in my freezer until I'm ready to use it. And I lay the paper towel across it. Again, I made a big mess. I'll have to clean that up in a second, but I just wanted you to see. So there's the difference. You can see the wheat bran and the waste from that I hadn't cleaned up yet. Some worms, you can see the worms in there, and paper towel. By the time I come back in here, they will have this leveled. If you look close, you can see some of them moving in there. They're already making their way into the brand new brand. Okay, now we will go out to the chicken coop and we'll take this bag with us out there. Take these worms and waste and beetles, take them out to the chickens because this is a special snack for them. And then I'll take you to see how the duck yard is going. Okay, I'm gonna bring some, the bag of worms and beetles and bran and debris. I'm gonna bring it, whoa! In here first. Okay, we just had escapees. I don't know how you did that, mister. Apparently, we're going to have to fix that. But I will put this down so you can watch the chickens enjoying their snack. The younger hens are enjoying the snack that I've brought them. And you can see that 
these older hens know what's going on and they're anticipating me bringing this bag inside. They know exactly what I have. They're following me. And they will actually try to get the bag out of my hands when I walk in. Hey guys, gotta let me through. some to the rooster and the ducks too. Yard. Brian's almost got the shelter, the, yeah, this is going to be the shade, the shelter. He's almost got this done and then he's going to put the fence up. 